afternoon, watch every enthusiast and newbies. Welcome back into the rabbit hole with Cal Shaves. Well, it has been a hot minute. I have taken the summer off. Uh, my girlfriend and I bought a camper and uh, we have a seasonal lot we have it set up at. So we spent the whole summer, uh, my weekends off out there. So I am long overdue to make this video. By the way, uh, if you're returning to my video, thank you for sticking by me while I've taken a hiatus. I'm gonna try and get back into making videos every couple of weeks. If you're new, welcome. Um, my videos are going to be a little bit different than what you may be used to. I'm heavily tattooed. I'm into metal, hard rock, skulls, whiskey, scotch, cigars. It's kind of hardcore that way. If the music in my videos is always going to be rock, usually. It might be too loud. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to forget the audio settings. If it's not your style, I can appreciate that. You're welcome to mute this video. But that's the style of my video. So, anyway. Again, this is a long overdue video. Droid Black. CK Sticks Formula. Matching aftershave. He also sent me an Oracle coin, which I will post in this video. that I got from my buddy Chris Troniak over at Highland Springs. Uh, it's an aftermarket. Of course it is PAA. There's the case it came with. Beautiful foam packaging. I'm going with my 26 millimeter atomic rocket synthetic. As usual we are going with a brand new Voskhod. We are going to grab our Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. We are going to get the lather built up now. Now, CK6 formula takes water. It will drink a lot of water. It doesn't seem to be fussy. I live in a city, in an apartment building with 50 something units. Just ordinary tap water is what we use here. Um, I know people that use distilled. I know people that use well water. and the CK6 formula seems to be able to hold up to all of it. So, as you can see, we have got a great lather built up. And as you, again, as you can see, it definitely holds water. If you mess it up and you put too much water in it, wash it down the drain, make more. Soap is cheap, it's abundant. Not a big deal. Better to waste a little bit of soap than to have a piss poor shave and it cuts yourself. So we are good to go with that. By the way, um, what this Black Droid is, is an homage to Black Freud, which has been discontinued. Um, I'm not familiar with the Freud products. I've never used any of them, but the Black Freud has been discontinued. So this pays homage to it. This comes about uh, in part thanks to Christopher David Bailey, I guess he kind of pestered Doug until they came up with this. I will list the set notes. I'm not good at um, being able to describe. It is woody. It's got some floral. It's what I would call like a cologne type scent, a perfumey type scent. Now we'll show you my typical shave routine. Now these clips won't be in order, but they're meant to be illustrative of how I shave each part of my face. On my upper lip, I typically do two passes. First with the grain. Mm. 
Then I'll typically do across the grain. Uh, afterwards, I'll check and see if I need any touch-ups. On my cheeks, I do your standard, typical three-pass shave, uh, starting with with the grain, going right down to about my jawline. Then across the grain from ear towards chin, or vice versa, it doesn't really matter which. Then I'll go against the grain, and sometimes I utilize skin stretching to help uh, get a closer shave as well. Recently I started doing a four pass shave on my neck, starting with going with the grain. Then I'll do a pass going across the grain. Uh, when I do a fourth pass, I'm doing uh, across the grain in the reverse direction, and I find that this helps a smoother shave. And then I'll do an against the grain pass. If I'm going to have any irritation, this is going to be where I'll get it. And I use a super light touch and extra lather. Just remember, what shaving is supposed to be a fun, enjoyable, relaxing thing to do. Bring a scotch into the bathroom with you. Bring in a cigar if your better half will allow it. Turn up whatever music makes you happy. Doesn't matter if it's Sinatra or if it's Metallica. Remember, this is just a bit of time for you to zen the hell out. Enjoy it. Multiple water growth easily. Um, the Ascension, he's got a line of the Ascensions. Again, this is the copper. Um, I've also got the first one, or no, uh, sorry, the uh, stainless steel. One of the aluminum versions, and this one, and I'm not sure if he's got any other versions. A knurling is great on this, of course. The, the, uh, the end is great. Actually, I find the teeth less pointy. You can feel the teeth less in this one than you can particularly in the stainless steel. You can definitely feel more of the teeth in it. That is damn near BBS. Slickness on that soap performs exactly as I expect. CK6, I guess it is great stuff. So, I'll so your back, got it cleaned out. I feel a little weeperish, but nothing of any consequence. So, with that, I'm not gonna bother with alum. I don't use uh, witch hazel very often. I don't know, I just fell out of the habit of it. But we are definitely going with the Black Droid. Aftershave Splash. I've noticed the last few sets I've got from him that he's changed the flow reducer. Uh, I guess he's had a lot of complaints about the old style flow reducers, so he's gone with these modernized plastic. And as you can see, I never had an issue with the last ones. I just put my finger over them. But as you can see, these ones, he's done videos on how to use them. As an example, here's one of our bottles. And as you saw, it's the same size as traditional ones. Now I get people that email me sometimes like, oh, I love the you know, your products, but your bottles, the hole's too big, yada, yada, yada. Don't go there. And, um, but the thing is, it's user error at the end of the day. They just don't know what they're doing. And that's not a bad thing. We're in this hobby to learn as and, we go. And Doug showed this to me. I actually was surprised. I'd never seen this before. Get ready. So here comes the movie magic. You can use your finger, you can use your thumb, no, no, no. you can use your hand. The money shot, Doug. Okay. Show me the money shot. That's how you use a glass decanter. And then as you turn to the explosion, Besides, you, you, it's created a vacuum, so you go like this, and now you can control how much product Shaken, you actually use. Shaken, not stirred. And look, at, I have very little in my hand, and this is how I would apply it. A little bit of burn. Definitely alcohol-based. Uh, Phoenix, uh, just their performance. Rather you go with the original formula, you go with the CK6. Um, you're not going to be disappointed. A huge variety of scents. Um, he's done several homages to um, to different things. So and uh, yeah, oh yeah. In addition to line, he's also good stuff. Beard comb and mustache waxes, like that. So, 
Check it out. I will post links down below. If you like it, fantastic. Let me know what you think if you've tried it. By the way, also been other YouTubers um, review this. I haven't had a chance to watch your videos, but I will post links, including Paul H. and Mark. And I'm sorry, I can't say your last name, but you guys all know who he is. Of course, Christopher. Uh, Paul H. Films has done a video with this and a few of the other YouTubers as well. So I will post links down below. So thank you to everyone. Hope you have an awesome weekend and we will see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.